Defense wins championships. I talk about the Patriots. I talk about every great football team. I talk about Golden State. Every team that wins a championship, they're one of the best teams defensively. Well, now it's for real. Defense can win you a championship, okay? Today. The biggest game in Breslin Center history. This place is a powder keg as either Michigan or Michigan State, two top 10 teams, will go home with a share of the Big Ten title tonight. State rivals, top 10 teams, piece of the title, banners up, rings ordered. That's, all, that's what is on the line tonight, and this is fantastic. 14,700 plus chanting, hoping, Hey Spartan fans, uh, Kenny here with my boy Jack. Uh, we're just out here checking out some uh, different places to eat around East Lansing and uh, showing them some Asian uh, cuisine at East Cafe. Hello. Hi. Uh, can I get the sesame chicken? Combo? Yes, please. Does that come with fried rice? Yeah, fried rice and egg roll and soup. Beautiful. Can I get uh, egg drop soup, please? Uh, can I also do the sesame chicken? Mm -hmm. You started playing here when they were originally wearing the state script jerseys. Yeah, you're right. The Reebok ones. That's when I started. You were a converse when you first got here. <laughs> Kenny Goins, a guy that uh, a lot of people are excited to watch. Came here as a walk on from Warren Mott High School. He now has earned a scholarship. Thank you so much. Thank you. Cheers. Cheers. Not only is Goins giving him all those minutes, this guy's rebound total. 12. Kenny Goins has 12 rebounds in this game. And this has not been now an easy defensive game either, Mike. No, he's had to guard every possession down on the block. By the way, the 13 rebounds for Goins, as many as he's had in the 37 minutes he's played all season. 25 for the Spartans getting it done and giving them the lead with that jumper. Mike, you and I are suckers for a good story. Goins coming here. Great story. Wow, man. I said I wasn't need all this. I'm not either. This is actually really good. <laughs> <laughs> What's your record against Michigan all time? Uh, right now, either five and three or four and three. I'm trying to lead Michigan State with a winning record against Michigan. That's a big goal to accomplish. Just from my freshman year, I had an above 500 record. And that's like the, one of the main goals I had this season was just to beat them twice. Two more games in the Brez. Yeah. That's crazy. I know, I, I don't think it's hitting me yet until I'm really going to be out there kissing the Spartan head. Goins is going to have to get it up, and he does. You know, it's not over yet, thankfully, yeah. but uh, I, I couldn't have expected to go really better than this. We've had the, the crazy ups and downs, but... I feel like we've exceeded expectations, especially with JL out. And now Nick, a little bit. It hasn't just been the starting lineup either, though. There's been people coming off the bench. The scout team has been incredible this year. You know, I always give you guys crap about us having the best scout team when I was a freshman and sophomore, but this one is probably, in, in, you know, could compete with us. Yeah. I don't know if you would beat us, but <laughs> could compete. You might have to bring it back and we'll see. Play it for five on five. Man, get Aaron Harris back here. Yeah, see. <laughs> He, he was the superstar of the scout team. You guys might have had a better overall team, though. We had a superstar, though. What's it like transitioning from scout team to playing? Honestly, I think it's a lot easier than just kind of being thrown into the fire, like, uh, if you're never on a scout team, you know? Because you get to learn all the different people's plays and stuff like that. Yeah. And it's so much easier to going into the game to be prepared, if that makes sense. Right now we're at uh, Carlton River. Um, we're playing in our uh, intercollegiate event, and um, yeah, it's our uh, our first stroke play event of the year. And um, yeah, we're looking forward to getting off to a good start. 
We got a, a fun day, 36 holes. We'll be out here about 10 and a half hours or so from pretty much the sunrise until sunset. We're out here playing, just looking for a fun day and just lots of birdies out there. A little bit windier today, a little colder, uh, so it won't be as much of a ball striker's course today. Um, but, you know, it'll, be, it'll definitely be a grind, which is what we're used to seeing down here. It's usually tough conditions down here. It's a different feel knowing uh, you have some support down here, definitely, because, I mean, we can't host in Michigan right now with the snow on the ground and all of that, and it's cool just being able to be down here. We have our own house, so it's sweet. and then to check and dribble out to the left. Okay. No, it's 18 short, so 20 to get on the green. 120 club by 50. Okay, so it's probably going to be 130 right now. Huh? Yeah. Oh, that's good. Anyway. Yeah, it's been a good start. Um, I thought the first 30 minutes was pretty rough, but I think that's normal when you haven't played for five months um, in a stroke play event like this. And then we rebounded, played really well the last nine of the first 18. Got ourselves a little lead, but Andrew's on hole like a 21, 22. We got 14 more or so. Um, you know, got a three or four shot lead at the moment, but. Now it's the most important time as a coach. I'm, a, I'm anxious now because you get the lunch break, you get a little lull, you know, you gotta keep your intensity up and it's gonna be a test of our character and strength. Yeah, I was in between and I was traumatized from earlier. So. <laughs> Stuck in the ground. All right, you good? Yep. Play hard for five holes, I'll get you dinner. Okay. If, hey, not, if, if not, no dinner. No dinner. No dinner. <laughs> Go get him, bub. Come on. Yep. Maximum intensity right now. You can be tired in an hour and a half. It feels good. Believe it or not, I was just scrambling all day and uh, I just managed to put a good score on a scorecard. It's great, we're, we're prepared and uh, we're playing well so far and hopefully we can cap it off with a dub tomorrow. We're definitely gonna have to show off our skills. Just never disconnect them, just do them like that. <laughs> Stab them, stab the chicken. Totally disrespect everything. <laughs> People would see that on this and just be like, what's wrong with you? <laughs> Is it coming? Oh, yes. Game time. I'm ready. Thank you so much. Oh, man. Here we go. Let me know what you think. Good. That's delicious. It's hot. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I think it'd be a lot of fun to win the Big Ten tournament. I mean, you've been through it. Yeah, the I Big Ten through tournament. It yet. Especially because this year it's back to like the the format that right after it is the selection yeah, Sunday. Yeah, yeah. That is a sweet feeling. So we always like sit in the locker room and watch no, it? No, it's not even a locker room. They give you your own special room. Uh, you go there, you're all wearing the hats, got like the net still, um, you got the trophy right next to you, and then they just put on the selection show and you sit there as a team and watch. Oh wow, he killed that. Smash. I told you I was hungry. <laughs> That's all, folks. Thank you. Jordan Poole on Simpson for the assist. Iggy Brostakis. Knocks it down for three. Bounce pass down low on a pay. Tillman shoots over the top of Teske. You got it. It's 5 2. Oh. Oh. 
Brazdakis, trailer. Yes, sir! Iggy Brazdakis, who has played the villain all Big Ten season on the road, has five. McQuaid has it blocked back into him. Ball loose. And picked up by Michigan. Pools trailing to Julius. Didn't see him, and they do give the basket. Look at now. Cash coins for three ball. He got it! Buckling for two. Was he a tough kid? Look at him. He just pushed that crowd, Arns did, from eight to 11. Henry the drop off. And a slam for Tillman. So MSU went to half on a 6 0 run to get this thing back within striking range. At the break, it's Michigan 35 and Michigan State's got 29. It was a good day. It was what I expected, to be honest with you. I thought it was a little more inefficient than what I expected. And um, I know that we're going to start tomorrow a little more on edge. All right, so 14, the biggest change of the day, in my opinion. Now we got to get the ball in the fairway. 24 on seven left. Right. We've been coming off two rounds where we just kind of did what we should do. Mm -hmm. We'll do something even better tomorrow. And if you got it, for God's sakes, if you got it, put your foot on the gas and go. Everybody contributed today. Zach did what I asked him to do. It was great. Try all of you. Okay? Let's go get it. Okay. In the middle. Pack up in the morning. Do what we do. Spines on three. One, two, three. Spines. That swing when I met you. What? You didn't have that swing when I met you. No. We need a shot on the green. Okay. Good work, bud. Don Trosper. Good stuff. You got out of your own way this week, didn't yeah, you? I did, yeah. Let's go, baby. Good stuff. Good stuff. The champ. Dude, the champ. The champ. You got yourself on the back, too. Didn't we win? these shoulders, right? Yeah, why don't you massage these shoulders? Because you carried on. Right here. That's one this week. Let's get two. Yes, sir. All right? Proud of you, boys. Good effort. second half and we'll see what changes Michigan State makes to see if they can get those guys on track. Kenny Goins behind the screen knocks it down. Tillman got a free. Winston. Oh McQuaid finds two and a foul. Cash is dribbling around, going down the lane, bank shots away, good, and he's fouled! Orange out front, McQuaid for a wide open three ball, he got it! Tillman wrap around, off the cut, great back cut. Here comes Michigan State, down by five. Uh-oh, Goins, wide open! Nine for the senior from Troy, Michigan. Mount Breslin has erupted. An entire state on the line. 
Michigan State can take the lead. Winston. Oh, he banked it in! The first lead of the game for Michigan State, 53-50, 10 to go. Henry squeals the brakes and scores! How interesting is the psychology between Winston and Simpson. Now it's Simpson on his heel. He beats Teske and scores! Four balls. Timeout, Michigan! It's a seismic night in East Lansing. Michigan State has taken control. The winner shares the Big Ten title with oh. Purdue. Oh, the stuff for Tillman off the hand of Winston. The bench guys are acting exactly like Izzo, Gabe Brown. Winston takes Simpson and scores. Winston dancing for two more. MVP of the Big Ten. Player of the year in the Big Ten. First team All-American, Cassius Winston. But he gets hit more with the ball than any kid in college basketball without a call. How many times are you going to get hit here? He should get a free game in pinball for this. Jeez, it happened the other night, too. Dunk. McQuay, happy senior night. This place has just been magical. Boss tonight. Boss. From the moment all these kids got into the stands, hour and a half before the game, boss. And Michigan State second half, as good as they have played in a long time. Goins and McQuaid coming out for the final time at the Breslin Center. Michigan State is repeating as Big Ten champions despite all the obstacles. MSU on the last game of the regular season welcomes in this rival Michigan and wins it and wins a Big Ten championship, the final. Michigan State 75, Michigan 63. What a great day to be a Spartan. What a great day to be in East Lansing, Michigan. I just want to tell all of you, I've said this many a times over my years, this was a game when I played for a championship in the last game a few times, played my rival in the last game a few times, but I've never played on senior night your rival for a championship. So, so no matter what these guys do, they put their own footprint. You know, Mateen's got a footprint here. Steve Smith's got a footprint here. Jerry Jackson's dad is here. He got a footprint here. A lot of guys got footprints. Now this team has their own footprint here. Kenny Goins turned down scholarship offers to walk on at Michigan State. A year later, he earned his scholarship and has appeared in more than 120 games in his career with 44 starts. As a redshirt senior this season, he has started every single game, averaging eight points and nine rebounds per game, ranking among the top 50 in the country in rebounds. Kenny earned his bachelor's degree in advertising management from Troy, Michigan. Ladies and gentlemen, Kenny Goins. McQuaid is a Spartan co-captain and has appeared in more than 130 games during his career. He has been recognized as one of the team's best shooters, but through his career has developed into one of the team's best defensive players. As a senior, he is averaging more than nine points per game and ranks among the best three-point shooters in the Big Ten. Matt will graduate in May with a degree in advertising from Duncanville, Texas. Ladies and gentlemen, number 20, Matt McQuay. I got two other people. 
I need to bring out here because they both had a tough year. We've had a lot of injuries. But Nick Ward, who's going to be back next week, and there's Nick. Come here, Joshua. And Joshua Langford, who isn't quite as lucky, but this guy's been the best leader that we've had in a while. Him and Matt, we did an unbelievable job. So don't forget about these two guys, because one's going to be back, and the other one's going to be back next year. Maybe we'll just try to win another one yeah, next year, another, huh? Another, huh? Another, All right, enjoy another banner in the sky, man. Another banner. Spartan fans, it's time to present the 2018-2019 Big Ten Championship Trophy and Banner. Oh, oh, oh.